Okay, now we have our whelping box set up. This is the Dura Welt box. I bought it about five years ago. It's not terribly expensive. It's what I could afford. I know there's a lot of nicer ones out there, but this has served me well, and I want to show you some of the modifications that I've done and ways that I keep it nice. Um, and so uh, one of the first things is, let me just do this while we're talking, is I get a piece of linoleum remnant and I use that on the bottom. Um, nice solid piece, just cut to the shape, doesn't matter what it looks like because all you're trying to do is keep your, your welding box clean. So I just got this little remnant piece and I keep that in there and it makes it really nice for cleaning up because you can take this outside, hose it off, clean it, and then your, and your welt box stays clean. Um, the other thing that I do that's really, really helpful is I'm using a Hughes light strip, but I have attached to the bottom of one of the rails a Hughes light strip. And if you see um, here, that's where you plug it in, and it fits inside this rail just perfectly. So what this does is at night, I've got a night light in here that I can turn on, and I can see the pups um, by having this night light in there. And because it's a hue strip, you can turn it, um, it doesn't have to be a white light. And it's LED, so it's cool, there's no heat approach uh, on this. But when you turn the night light on, and I'll show you a picture of this, you can have it the red light. And so um, I've written some articles about red light. I know I read a lot about red light supposed to be good for us. It's very, it's very not, it's not harsh on your eyes and so it's a really good thing to have in the whelping box because you're not going to um, light it all up but you can still see. And so I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you an example of this once I get it plugged in. So the thing is, is having this light strip on here uh, and you can see I've already got the box put together but basically if I can do this one-handed. Um, so I've got the plug-in back here, and you're just going to stick it through the regular slot. And once you get it through there, I've got my, my plug-in back here, and so I'll just plug it in behind the, behind the whelping box. So there's nothing, and I can't remember... I can't remember if I added these Velcro strips or whether they were already there, but I have Velcro strips that make sure the rail stays in its place. So it's in place. I'll screw it in through the top, but when I plug this in, you can get it. So you see that I've got I've got a night light or I've got the white light in here. But then at night, what I do is I set this, and you can do this remotely, I set this to night light, and you can't really tell, but let me turn off the light real quick. You see how there's just a little bit of red light there? Maybe if I shut this door. And then of course I've got controls, so that if I want to turn that up brighter, I can turn that up brighter. So I can see everybody without um, disturbing them. Uh, by turning on the overhead lights and such. Okay, and then I can also turn it back on white. Good. And this is Zoe. Zoe is our grandma dog now. Zoe's had three litters, 31 pups in total. And she's very helpful because she thinks maybe that she's going to get to help with the puppies, huh? You going to help with the puppies? I know. I know you like to help. You're a good helper. Yes, you are. Very good. All right. She says, I didn't even know I was pregnant. But we're setting up the whelping box, huh? We're setting it up. We're getting ready. All right. <laughs> You're excited about this, aren't you? You're excited about this, aren't you? I know, I know. We're going to have babies. We're going to have your babies. All right. This is all Zoe approved. Um, so here's the next thing. Here's another modification that um, I've made, and I'm going to show it to you a little bit further in. But right now, uh, you're going to look for these. 
And I'll put a link. <clears throat> Come over here, please. See this little Velcro pocket right here? There's a little pocket right here. And there's a little one down there. And I'm going to use these things to make pockets on each corner. And I'll show you why in the next piece, the next segment. All right, so earlier you saw I showed you these little um, Velcro tabs that I use. So I bought these Velcro strips, and you can see that I've made a little pocket out of them. This is just Velcro. And the nice thing is, is because this Velcro is on here, you can still fold up the DuraWelt box and put it away, but here's your little Velcro pocket, right? So it's nice and flat. And why that's important, and it's not, you know, it's, it's a preference thing. My dogs, I feel like they, they like the cave environment a little bit more. So these are fiberglass rods that you buy, and they're actually called garden hoops. And when you get them, they're like this. They come like this, and they have this little metal clasp on it. And the way you take them apart is you basically just flatten it out. They'll come to you as a hoop like this, and I've seen people online saying, how in the world do you get these things apart? Well, you have to step on it. Oh, okay, I can't quite get it in there. There we go. And so you'll get this garden hoop like this, and it's really kind of hard to take apart. But basically, you step on it, flatten it out, and it comes right apart. And how I use these things is to build a tent over the um, whelping box to make it like a cave environment for them. And I know that there's probably some covers that they sell, but I didn't find any that I really liked. So let me... Um let me just show you. I'm just going to slip that down through there, and then I've got another one down toward the bottom. And those Velcro strips hold about a 10-pound weight, um, and that's plenty for what I'm going to use it for. So I'll put one there, and then I'll grab one here and put it in this corner. Slip it through my little Velcro pocket. Pull it over to the top. Bend it down, put it together, hi there. And then I'll do the same for the other side. Right through the pocket, top pocket, bottom pocket. There's one on the top, one on the bottom. Put it through there. And I'll put a zip tie and just hold I'll those together. Alright, here's my zip tie. That's just going to add a little strength and give me a little bit of um, security that I know it's not going to pop off. I don't think it possibly could, but you know how it is when you just worry, worry, worry. So, there we go. That's zip tied. It's pretty strong. These things, these fiberglass rods are pretty strong. It gives me enough space that I can get into the whelping box with the dog if I need to, but it also creates that cave environment for them. Because sometimes when you're trying to get them to go in their whelping box, they would rather go under the bed or go in the closet or go someplace that's, you know, that they can dig into and really kind of make into a cave. So to me, if I create a cave environment for them, it's just a whole lot easier. So. I have this lightweight brown blanket that I like to use. And I just tuck the blanket behind the box out of the way where nobody can chew on it. And the nice thing is, is I'll mount a camera inside of this blanket so I can see what's going on at all times. But there's plenty of height to get the camera up high enough and that makes them a, a nice little cage environment. There you go. And let's see, and so I'm going to show you the whelping box with the light on. 
And there you go. Now I can see what's going on in there. So I can see the puppies, I can see what's going on. I'll have a camera mounted in there so I'll be able to watch the puppies. At night, I'll have the night light set. So let me show you what that looks like. So I've got enough light in there so I can see what's going on. And I know this camera doesn't show it, but actually I'll set up my regular cameras because they have night vision that um, makes it really clear. And you can do a puppy count um, without getting out of bed. You can lay in bed, look at your screen, zoom in, count the puppies, turn on the light, turn off the light, whatever you need to do. So that's how we make it work in our house. Do you want to come check this out and make sure I did everything right? You want to come check it out? Come check it out. See if I did everything right. Did I do it right? Is it good? Is it good? Did I do you it right? You ought to know, huh? 31 puppies later, you ought to know if it's done right or not. Yes, I know, I know. All right, and here's our whelping box draped with a blanket that gives her a nice little cozy cave type environment. She likes that. So let me go in here. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was a couple of little things I do. So see that camera right there? That is a wise camera. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're peeking through those. And then there's also one mounted up in the very top of this thing. So see, it's looking straight down into the whelping box. And what that does is it gives me the ability to, at night, they have uh, night vision on these cameras. And so at night, rather than jumping up and checking on puppies all the time, I can just use my phone app and zoom in on the puppies and do a puppy count, make sure everybody's okay. I've got, you know, several views of them. I can look close here or I can use the one that looks down into the box. This is during the day, full color, looking down into the box. You can see that I can get a good uh, view of what's going on with the puppies and mom's there with them. Everybody's good. And then I'll also show you what it looks like at night because um, this is where this camera is really handy. Right here, that's night vision so you don't get color but you can see it's nice and clear. I can zoom in on that and do a puppy count, make sure everybody's there and accounted for. And um, I just can't, can't tell you how much nicer it is to be able to lay in bed and look at this on my phone screen versus getting up and checking puppies all the time. And I'll be using these cameras to live stream the puppies once they're a little more animated, up and around and animated. So I hope you found something useful in this video. Um, if you're a breeder or you plan to breed, I hope you also remember that any domesticated animal has lost the ability to use nature's selection and survival of the fittest, so that responsibility falls on you. As a breeder, you've made yourself responsible for more than just their physical features and behavior. Their long-term genetic health is in your hands, and I hope you take that as seriously as we do.